It seems the best innovations are the ones that actually make our day-to-day -day lives a little easier. Take your phone, for example. Up until a few years ago, we all had maps in our cars, cameras around our necks, and calculators on our desks. Then the smartphone came along and bam, we suddenly had all that power in our pockets. Now one innovator is giving that phone more power and her electric idea has got this one in the bag. Here's Allie Ward to explain. Look up and see how the Chicago skyline symbolizes innovation. Look around and see how the hearts and minds of people create innovation. People like Liz Salcedo. As a social worker, Liz seldom stopped long enough to charge her batteries, especially her cell phone batteries. But that depletion indirectly led Liz to an electrifying idea. I went to the Windy City to learn how a life of service led to one powerful purse. Now, did you have a background in tech before you started this company? No, actually, I studied sociology, so I didn't have any background in tech or engineering or design. I was working as a social worker, mainly with families, women and children with HIV. At the same time, Liz and her husband Dan set out to create a bag just for Liz, one that would be beautiful and charge her phone while she was on the go. And the finished product looked like this. I got a bag and I tore up the inside and we bought a bunch of different parts and customized them to see how they could work together to make the perfect bag. That bag became a tech and fashion accessory for Liz. But when they realized a wireless phone charging bag could potentially help others, they decided to create a company called Everpurse, building their first 3,000 purses by hand. Tell me how the purse works and what's unique about it. So the bag itself has a charging system built in so that you can charge your phone inside of the bag. All you do is take your phone and you slide it into the pocket and it starts to charge. And this is hidden in a purse pocket. This is hidden inside the bag so that you don't see all wires and cables or anything. Everything is built in inside of the bag behind the lining. So by sliding a phone into the phone pocket, it will begin to charge. No cords, no plugs. It's entirely wireless. To power the purse, Liz and Dan came up with a flat mat base. How does the charging mat work to wirelessly charge the bag? So there's tech in here that takes an energy from the wall and then it sends it out into this little receiver that's built into the bag. And this receiver captures the energy and stores it in the bag so it can send it to your phone. So it's going from the charging mat into your bag wirelessly through these two coils. Yes. <gasps> in practice, it looks like this. It just lines right up and then you can see a blue light comes on when the bag is charging and then when it's fully charged the light will turn green while liz and dan were busy designing the tech inside of the bags their mentor on the fashion side robin malusi was busy designing and helping them navigate the foreign manufacturing language of fashion so you like to start with sketches is that how you start your process yes um i always have it first it's the materials and then for me it's a sketch Rather than sticking with their own purse brand, they're now integrating their technology into outside brands instead. And for Liz, this is only the beginning. Our vision really is to become the intelligence behind the fashion industry. Building brains and beauty into every bag. Very chic. <laughs>